what is going on everybody and welcome back to your stop for all things theme park and attraction related my name is scott and if you're new here consider subscribing with those bell notifications on and if you enjoy this video or videos like this make sure to give it a like it helps out the channel a whole lot and if you aren't already follow our instagram account at socal exploring media and our twitter account at socal exploring i'm super excited to be talking about this and that is the fact that universal orlando resort has officially announced both the dates and our first house announcement for Halloween Horror Nights 30. In the history of Halloween Horror Nights, there has never been a creature more terrifying, more horrifying, from the darkest depths beyond the grave. It's showtime! It's a ghoulish haunted house featuring the ghosts with the most. Beetlejuice, only at Universal's Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah. About time you losers gave me my own house. That is right everybody, Beetlejuice is officially coming to the 30th anniversary of Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios Florida. Now we know for HHN Lite, fans got the opportunity to walk through Beetlejuice for two days and unfortunately since I was in Orlando like two weeks before that, I didn't have the money to go out and check it out which I was really upset about, however I'm super excited that this year I finally get to check out the Beetlejuice house. I heard mixed reactions from it, some people saying it was really really good and others saying it was just a decent house and I'm excited to share my thoughts when I finally get to experience it this year. And nonetheless, I feel like I'd be really bummed out if they didn't announce that Beetlejuice was coming to the 30th anniversary. We've been speculating it ever since HHN Light, like what's gonna happen? What's the future with Warner Brothers? Will they even allow them to bring it back as a house? But now we officially have it confirmed that the Beetlejuice house will be returning to Halloween Horror Nights. And with that, HHN speculating season is back on. HHN announcement season is back on and all of us fans can start getting excited again for possibly the best theme park event out there. And now Halloween Horror Nights 30 with the tagline Never Go Alone will begin on September 3rd and run until October 31st. Now I think that these dates are perfect. I think that all haunts should start doing this, like not Scary Farm does this where they end on Halloween. I think it's just more fitting with haunts because then it's like that one last hurrah for the Halloween season and then you transition into Christmas super easily instead of having haunts still running until the first week of November. And it's not even like we're getting less time to check out Halloween Horror Nights because they are beginning on September 3rd. That's super early and super close to us already. So I don't know about you guys, but the fact that we don't have to wait through the whole month of September to like the middle of it, we can just get to September and be like, Halloween Horror Nights is in three days. That makes me way more excited. You know, it's the little things that count in my opinion. The concept art for the Beetlejuice house looks absolutely beautiful. I did watch one of the POVs about like a minute of it. I didn't watch the full POV because I didn't want to spoil it for me just in case they're going to bring it back like they are now. So when I walk through it this year on opening night, hopefully my reaction will be just genuine and just you know I'll, I'll be either amazed or I'll be like hey, it was okay but there is a downside that we need to mention real quick about this house announcement and that is the fact of HHN Hollywood as all of you know if you've been following the channel for a while HHN Hollywood is my home obviously with the name SoCal Exploring and just recently this past year I've been traveling out to Orlando and covering their event and their theme parks a little bit more and I really don't believe that we're going to get a Beetlejuice maze at HHN this year in Hollywood if we have HHN Hollywood. And even if they do like an HHN light similar to what Orlando did last year, I don't think Beetlejuice will be one of those mazes. So that's a real bummer to be honest. Like I would love to see Hollywood's take on Beetlejuice. However, I just don't think that it's going to happen. Now that's not to say that HHN and Hollywood won't happen. I just don't think that Beetlejuice will be featured, even though I think that it'd be a way bigger hit in Hollywood than it is in Orlando. And I'm not talking about maze quality, I'm just talking about a bigger hit with the fans. With this announcement, it pretty much confirms that we'll still see the Beetlejuice Tribute Store room inside of the Halloween Horror Nights Tribute Store this year, or who knows, maybe they can change it up. I would personally be okay with them bringing back the Beetlejuice room though. Say it once, say it twice, say it three times. It's time to turn up the juice and see what shakes loose as the original film comes to life. More twisted and terrifying than ever. Beetlejuice will haunt, taunt, and send you screaming out of the haunted house. And spoiler 
warning, if you guys have not seen the Beetlejuice walkthrough, then click out of the video right now or skip ahead. But Universal Orlando actually already gave us a sneak peek at pictures inside of the Beetlejuice house that has already been built and it's just sitting there. I'm sure they're making a couple tweaks here and there to make the house better. Obviously, it's a big question whether or not they're going to have plexiglass in it this year or if Florida's restrictions won't be as strong as they are now. But it's exciting nonetheless to still get a sneak peek of actual like HD pictures and not just someone's pocket recording the POV. I think this puts a question on a lot of HHN fans minds as well. Will the Bride of Frankenstein Libs and the Tooth Fairy come back to HHN 30 this year? Because you'd think if they're announcing returning houses that they'd announce that those two are coming back as well. However, they haven't. So I don't think that those two houses will be making a return. It's a shame, but at least I got to walk through them like multiple times. Anyways, guys, I want to know what you guys are most excited for for the Beetlejuice house. What are you most excited to see? What iconic scene are you most excited to see? And what are you most excited to see about Halloween Horror Nights 30 this year down below in the comments section. My name is Scott and you've been watching SoCal Exploring. Positivity is key and most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace out everybody. Bye.